Hello, Keith Rucker at BenjaMachinery.org. So I got a little quick project we're going to work on today here in the shop. Uh, what I've got here, these are some holders that go on a wood lathe out at the Georgia Museum of Agriculture. This is in their steam-powered woodworking shop. They got an old uh, uh, wood lathe that was made in the late 1800s. It is actually belted up with a line shaft, leather belts, and ran off of a steam engine along with some other woodworking machinery. Uh, and when this machine was restored and put into use um, probably about 20 something years ago, 25 years ago, uh, they, they had the headstock, the tailstock, they made the carriage or the, the bed for it, which is how that particular lathe was designed to be made. Uh, but they didn't have the rest. And then with doing wood turning, of course, you use a rest kind of like this to run your tools back and forth on. They didn't have that. Well, they, they found a suitable rest. Uh, but they didn't have the, the the brackets to hold them. And they actually made these. A uh, gentleman, uh, I've never met the man, he was gone from the museum before I ever started out there, but he made these out of steel. And uh, they actually uh, are very close to what the originals would have looked like. Uh, but the only problem with them is, is that when he made them, they're just a little bit too tall. So when you put this tool rest in here on that lathe and take it all the way down as low as it'll go it's really about a half inch above center which is not good and this is something that I've actually been wanting to get fixed for a long time and uh, some guys were complaining about it the other day so I said just take them off bring them up here we'll get them fixed so here's what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna just basically mill off about a half inch of material off the top shorten these uh, blocks here and I believe that we may also have to drill the hole out a little bit deeper because when we take it out, these holes that are in here are not through. They don't go all the way through the piece. Um, they really don't need to, but I think that the, the tool is going to bottom out. So we'll, we'll evaluate that once we get them decked off and uh, see if we need to drill them out a little bit deeper. But anyway, quick and dirty middle machine job here. So uh, let's go ahead. I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to bolt these both down to the table. I'm going to bolt them down here together and we'll deck them off. Instead of doing it in two operations, I'll just do it one pass. One arm's already a little bit taller than the other. But we'll get them dropped down a little bit and uh, get these things fixed up for the museum. So rather than trying to hold these in the vise, I'm just going to take some T-slots. We got the vise off the mill. Uh, we're just going to put them right up underneath here. We got this slot in here. And um, this is a hold down. Uh, we're just going to Take a bolt, drop down through here, and uh, we'll do two of them on here, on each one of them. And uh, these don't have to be lined up or trammed in or anything square. It really doesn't matter. We're just taking, decking the top off. So uh, tighten those up and we'll do the same thing on the other side. We got everything set up. Uh, I'm running about 300 RPMs on this uh, shell mill. Uh, it's a carbide index mill. And uh, let's see, we can probably just get on in here. It's not going to hit the first pass on this one. Right now, I think I've got it where it's just going to barely touch this other one. I just want to have a good starting point. Like I said, that should be just kind of skimming the top of it. That's pretty us over it. Going to move that in just a little bit. We'll be going more down the center of it. All right, um, I'm going to try to take a hundred thousandths pass on it. See what it sounds like. May have to back off a little bit. We'll just see what happens here. Let's see what that yeah, it's a little bit much. We got a little leverage thing going on here. So uh, I'm gonna back off to 50 thousandths pass. And then try that.
All right, we're down to our last pass here. This should uh, take off roughly half inch. I haven't been too critical on the depth. It's just getting clearance for anything else. So let me go ahead and raise that up another 50 right there and let it whip across there. pretty good right there you got a full cut and it gets over that hole you start getting an interrupted cut and you hear that noise that's just that tooth hitting it on both sides it likes a much uh, fuller cut better than that interrupted cut but it's fine and now we're getting back into a full cut right there you hear it get quiet he likes that much better. We'll go all the way across. So we got the tops milled off now. I took a file and just deburred the edges and uh, ran a little deburring tool in here to clean up the insides. I got a drill bit here and I just, uh, you know what, uh, we just put these on here and kind of ran them in here to get them lined up. And uh, well, I say I did. That's pretty good right there. Let me lock my table down. And uh, slow that down some. We need to drill these out a little bit deeper. Put a little lube in here. So let's see where we can get them to go. So we got a nice fit, goes down all the way now, no problems at all. Um, need to come over here and drill this other one out. I'll do that off camera, uh, but same process that we got going on here. Well, here you go guys, all finished up. Uh, milled down, uh, drilled back out. We got nice adjustment in these now. We can get these uh, set to the height that we want to use them and uh, everything should be good to go. So I'll get these back out of the museum. They can get them back on the old uh, wood lathe and uh, they should be ready to go. That'll be a wrap. Thanks for watching.